are you considering between using a manual pump or an electric pump uh what are the pros and cons let me tell you as a medical doctor and as a mother or two please stick around if you haven't subscribed yet please do so see ya Time wait, hi there welcome to another episode of first thousand days in the life of a child's pro welcome if you here in ph today we are talking about should i use a manual pump or should i use an electric pump uh, electric pump comes with a lot of gadgets it's on my lap so if you don't see it uh, these are the stuff and there's a manual pump and this is a manual vacuum pump which i so love okay all right so uh when i was pregnant oh after i gave birth to god's baby this is what i used in fact i've still used this for fifi's mph um, after he was born but then i had an issue with my hand so i couldn't really use it anymore then i had to buy the electric pump so the main difference between this electric pump and the manual pump is that this one you actually will have to hold your boobs, attach it there, and then manual work. If, 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 if you remove this side, back, this one attaches your boobs, your nipples go in here, and then if, 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 if. so it's actually work. It's actually work, but I, I, it's kind of very, very helpful. I love this. This one is from the blind, uh, the blind, <laughs> the brand chica. You can buy any brand um, so far as it works for you. I've seen one in the hospital that the women are using. I think I saw it at another camp, it was around 25 cities. It's also like a plunger, it's long cylindrical. When you put it there, something in there for you to pull like a needle. It also works pretty much well. When we talk about manual, it just means you are using manual work, as in you have to, you have to uh, exert your energy to for it to work. And then when it comes to the electric, all you have to do this electric one here. Eh? A boss of mine recommended an electric pump um, when I had was and I said, I and they said, I'm electricity. She said, Oh, I'm trying that much. And I'm like, Hey, you guys, and she said, It makes me, but I wasn't interested because I was broke. So that's what I used for boss baby to do all the experience expressing of milk for the six months exclusive that I did and even beyond. Uh, for PPPMPH, I've used this a bit, this a bit, and then now I'm carrying it here. Now what this does is you just attach to both boobs. This is from Dr. Jim. They are really expensive brands. This uh, Dr. Jim I got for 140 series, I think. Yeah. Um, Tommy TP, what other brand? Mandela. And some other brands they cost around 500 700. If you have the money, why not? But this one equally works very well. You just attach both of it to your breast, and uh, there are things so you just read the manual and then you regulate it. If you want it high, if you want it low, you just keep pressing the plus and the minus, and it equally works. Okay, so this one uses electricity. So the minus is hey, got an yet to but then if you have this, this one there, all weather, there's no need for light. But this one definitely needs electricity. That's the one, the main difference. Apart from that, this one, of course, is cheaper than this one. This one costed me two years ago, I think it was around 45. I'm not sure how much it cost. And then the plunge that I was also telling you about, uh, 25 city size, so it's also manual. This one, I think this is the cheapest I've seen so far, Dr. Jim, 140. Um, basically, that's it. This one, apart from the noise, back, 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 this one also makes noise. I don't know about the other brands, whether they also make noise, but if you are not bothered, that, why? Um, so, affordability, the price comes in, um, you using your hands. So, if someone has a form of disability and cannot use one hand or the other, you can't use this, but will have to use this uh, and then electricity and let me introduce you to this one this one is um, is it um, I, I'm trying to remember the brand Haku or something it's a silicone pop I love it so much this one all you have to do is attach it to one bowl as baby is breastfeeding on this bowl your let down of milk on this one will collect here how cool you see when you are breastfeeding baby immediately baby starts breastfeeding from here this one will start leaking if baby is breastfeeding here, this one will start leaking. So all you have to do is, wherever you baby is latching on, you put this one on the other side, and it will collect all the let down milk uh, due to vacuum. It's so I love it so 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 much because you don't really have to do any work. All I have to do is just relax. The minus is you can't use it outside. You basically will have to go topless when you are doing this. So you just sit down. It has this leaky thing. I think I've left it in the fridge or somewhere. 
So I really love this vacuum. I think it's the brand is Hakum or something like that, silicone pump. It was really, really helpful. Let me know which pump you are using in the comment section below. At the end of the day, this one I realized early in the morning. If I sit down with no disturbance from boss with me, of course, and 3 pm page is feeding on this one, I can collect as much as 90 within 30 minutes. 90 mils. Um, it comes in sizes anyway. This one is up to 120 mils. But usually when I get to 90 mils, I stop because I don't want it to talk all over. This one is a stopper. So even when you put it, there's like a cork. When you turn it like this, the breast milk will not pull. Yes. So when I get to 90, I just transfer it into uh the breast milk bag yes i love it so 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 much and if i continue for like 20 minutes i can get like uh, 120 meals or even if i'm lucky one let's say 150 meals in 20 minutes of the let down through the vacuum so let me know in the comment section below which one has been helping you ideally so far as you are breastfeeding you are pumping you are getting some amount of milk do not get discouraged continue to do what you do okay whether you are using uh, the manual one the vacuum one or the electric one where is it <laughs> or the electric one do not be discouraged continue using it we just want baby to get breast milk exclusively in the first six months someone will tell you that oh when i use the electric pump i get i don't get that much milk um in my experience the electric pump actually pulls more milk than the manual one however they're all different but when you even read about it and you research about it they will tell you that the electric pump is more powerful than the manual one so it's able to draw in milk and suck in milk more than the manual one but if you you are not getting it practically don't tell yourself that you engineer actually you still use the electric one stick to your manual one and let it work um if you are having a conversation between I mean, like teaching mother, mothers having conversations between themselves, and someone is saying, Oh, when I pump, I get 120, when I pump, I get 260, and then you, <laughs> when you pump, you get 45. Don't be discouraged. We are all different people. All the most important thing you need to know out there is your baby is getting breast milk from you, which is their life. It's so, I don't know, anytime I'm breastfeeding, I'm humbled. Our God has given me this precious gift to. To, 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 to be able to feel a human being and grow that human being and the human being is all dependent on me the first six months it's lovely so do not be discouraged continue the brain is sucked in such a way that the more baby sucks the more you pump it sends signal to the brain that oh baby needs more milk so it will release the hormones that um, are supposed to produce more milk for you to get more milk so basic let baby suck more breastfeed more pump more and then you get more breast milk and do the other things we are talking we've been telling you about relax drink more water and all this stuff let me know which one helps you in the comment section below and if you have any other trick for pumping breast milk okay all right so please do like share comment and do not forget to subscribe bye <laughs>